Hi guys. Picked this little drone up in a charity shop. Uh, where are we? Microjet. My Buzz Retail Limited. Yeah. Buzz Toys, as it says there. Right. Picked up in a charity shop, £1.50. It didn't have the charger with it. To charge it, you're supposed to have a little plug that goes in there. Don't have one that size. So what I did do was take the battery out, because it's plug-ended, and charged it externally. Luckily, I noticed that the wires on here are the reverse of the way they are on all of my normal plugs. The red and the black are reversed, so I had to make up a little um, changeover lead there so I could charge it. What I want to do today... Oh, so we could check it flew and it flies all right. What I want to do today is take it apart and see if I can actually put a little lead just hanging out the front here somewhere so we can plug in to charge, plug in to charge the battery without having to take the battery out and use one of these existing leads that I've got. So we need a very small screwdriver. It looks like we've got to take it right apart. Probably be a good idea to get a little magnet. To catch all the screws. I'm quite pleased with this. I usually avoid buying helicopters and drones in charity shops because they've usually been donated when they're 40. There's usually something wrong with them. At the very least, they usually need the battery replaced. And if they don't have the controller, then it's a complete waste of time unless you just want the bits for spares. I say Nanny's got the washing machine running in the background. That's what the noise is if you can hear it all. It's not my stomach rumbling. Right. Will that lift off? No, nope. we've also got to undo these screws. different size. Okay, looks like we're free. So fairly standard looking layout. On the back of it, 
we would expect. Oh, I'll tell you what, that bit of plastic there was on top of that foam pad. I bet that's supposed to be a double-sided sticky foam pad and the battery shouldn't have been as easy to get out as it was. Because it should have been stuck in there. Anyway, coming around here... That bit there is the charger where the plug would go in there. So if I can just solder onto those two tags carefully. The right way round. And we can have one of these. Stick it out. I'm supposed to make it really simple. We can just have it st sticking right out the top here somewhere. We only need a tiny little bit sticking out. But that would save us getting the battery out each time. So I'm going to solder on those two tags, but we need to know which way round is positive and negative. I'll do a little close up of that circuit board in a minute just so we can see the date on it yeah I'll do that All right I've taken a bit of foam off so we can see the circuit board and like I say it's not not labeled positive and negative so I'm gonna have to put the battery back on and just put a meter across there to check check which way round it is Oh, out of focus. <clears throat> right, I've taken a bit of foam off so we can see the circuit board. These are the two tags I want to solder onto, but I'll have to put the battery back on and then measure for the meter to check which way round it goes. So we get the positive and negative the right way round. Oh, the sun's come out. That's a bit bright now. And then we might as well just turn it over so we can see the other side if we can. There we are, that's the other side of the board. All right, battery back in place. So that one's the positive. And that one's the negative. So I want that that way round. All right, that's my little connector soldered in place. We'll put the top back on again. <laughs> well, I've just got it all back together. Did anybody notice my deliberate mistake? I put a socket on instead of a plug. I need that end of it on, not that end. So I haven't done all that very carefully and soldering it all up together. It's the wrong way round. In fact, I have come across that before and I have a double-ended one here that will do the job for me. So that will work. <laughs> but that's just coincidence that I've got one that's the right way round and that will work. What I need to do is take it off again and put a plug on there, not a socket. Oh, that is so annoying. 
because your battery normally has a plug on it to go into a socket. So that's the normal way of doing it. This is one where I've come across this problem before. So I've actually got a, a plug and a socket on it. So this will work. And in fact, if I find that and plug it in, you get the red light up. So it will be charging. So I might do that for now, but then I'll take it apart again and put the... Oh, that is so silly. Never mind. It will work as it is. Right, nice blue light, so we've clearly charged okay. So that worked, but as I say, I'm still going to take it apart and change that to a, a plug rather than a socket or male, male rather than female, whichever way you want to look at it. Still, that was a success. So there we are, swap back over to a plug rather than a socket or a male rather than a female. So let me plug that in. I've left it short because I don't want it to get caught on things when it's flying around. There we are. We are charging. So that will do for now. Job done, as I like to say. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, and check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.